Hi, welcome to another video where we're looking at mixed integration and this time we've got the integral of tan cubed x with respect to x. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment as usual to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward to check your answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So don't forget you can fast forward if you want to check your solution. Otherwise I'm going to just slowly work through it. So in order to do this, what we need to do is split this, okay? It's a special one. Split it like this where we have tan x times tan squared x integrated with respect to x. And what we do is we pick up on tan squared x from this identity that you should already know. That is 1 plus tan squared x is identical to sec squared x. And if I rearrange this and make tan squared x the subject by subtracting 1 from both sides, you're going to get tan squared x is identical to sec squared x minus 1. And what I'm going to do is substitute sec squared x minus 1 in place of tan squared x here. So our integral then becomes this. And what I can do now is expand the bracket, okay? And expanding the bracket gives us this integral, the integral of tan x times sec squared x minus tan x integrated all with respect to x. So we've got two terms here to integrate. And when it comes to this first term here, tan x times sec squared x, then this is one that you might be able to do by recognition, but I'm going to show you how you can do it by substitution. If we take that integral, first of all, okay, tan x times sec squared x, then we make the substitution u is equal to tan x. So if I put that substitution down here, let u equal tan x. In the usual way, we need to differentiate this with respect to x. And if you differentiate tan x with respect to x, you're going to get sec squared x. And then we go on to make dx the subject. So if you rearrange that for dx, dx will equal 1 over sec squared x du. So now I'm going to substitute my values back into this integral to change the variable, to change it over to an integral in terms of u. I'm going to replace the tan x with the u here. I'll leave the sec squared x alone, okay, just write it in. And then in place of dx, we're going to write 1 over sec squared x du. So if I substitute those values in, that's what we get. And you can see the 2 sec squared x is cancel out. And that leaves you with the integral of u du. Now we can integrate this very easily now. The integral of u with respect to u is going to simply be u squared over 2, just by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. Or you could write it as a half u squared. And then I just substitute back my u as tan x. So you've got a half of all of tan x all squared, or half tan squared x, okay? I've ignored the constant here because we've got another term to integrate and I could amalgamate both constants to create one constant. So uh, the constants have purposely been left out here, okay? Right, so all I need to do is I can put that back in for the integral of tan x x squared x. So if we put that back in, we're going to get a half tan squared x. Now, we come on to the integral of minus tan x. And you should know this one. Uh, generally is in most formula books. If not, I'll show you how it's done. Okay. If you're going to integrate tan x with respect to x, we think of tan x as sine x over cos x. And we've got that property where if we have a fraction, 
and we see that by differentiating the denominator, cosine x in this case, you create the numerator or a multiple of the numerator, then it becomes a natural log of the modulus of the denominator. Well, if we differentiate cosine x, we don't get exactly sine x, we get negative sine x. So we can think of this then by that result as equal to minus natural log of the modulus of cosine x. Again, I've left the constant of integration out here on purpose, okay? Now, you could leave it like that, okay? Or you could go on, okay, further, and you'll get the result that's generally shown in most formula books. And that is, we can use the power rule for logs, okay? Here we've got negative one, so we can take it up into here, and we can think of this as the natural log of all of cosine x to the power minus one like that, okay? That doesn't look so good though. Remember, cosine x to the power negative one is the same as one over cosine x. So we've got then the natural log of the mod of one over cosine x. And that too doesn't look that great. One over cosine x, we should know, is the same as sec x. So this becomes the natural log of the modulus of sec x. So when it comes to integrating then minus tan x, it's going to be negative natural log of the modulus of sec x. But I prefer, in this example anyway, to just say, right, okay, let's pick it up on this point here, okay? The integral of tan x is minus the natural log of the mod of cos x. So the integral of minus tan x must just surely be the natural log of the mod of cos x. And that's what I'm going to put in there, okay? So my answer would be plus the natural log of the mod of cosine x, plus a constant integration. But you might have gone on and just kept this result, in which case it would have been negative natural log of the mod of sec x, okay? Plus your constant of integration. Well, I'll leave it up to you which one of those uh, answers you have, okay, for this term here. So that brings us to the end of this particular integral. Hope you're able to follow what I was doing there, okay, quite a lot of ideas going on. And uh, if you're able to get that answer, well done, okay. So do give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel okay then you'll get notifications of any other uploads that i put on so thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another video